for a long time, when we talk uh, about security and protection, uh, Kaspersky is the brand to come to mind. And a quarter of a century, they have presented um, a great experience in cyber security. Uh, we have today Mr. Andre uh, from Kaspersky to tell us more about Kaspersky. How are you today? Yes, thank you very much. Thank you for uh, warm words in address of our company. Uh, we have a very rich portfolio for cyber security, including some specific areas like industrial cyber security. And what do we see for the last years that we have to change slightly the vision how do we see on cyber threats and cyber incidents to be one step ahead of people who are trying to, to build cyber attacks, trying to be uh, uh, a team to steal data or to arrange unplanned outage for the company. So I'm very glad to share some last updates about our innovations, about our vision. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with us today. Um, let's talk about Giant Excel a little bit 2022. Um, let's say, what do you think about the show and this great event? Uh, Jitex is fantastic. I missed the last two Jitex. One is because of COVID, second one because of our regional business. But I'm happy to be here this year. Uh, we can see the noise, we can see the high density of expertise. And uh, I can say honestly that the second day we have a very, very high density of meetings with uh, people from different countries. So JITEX uh, is becoming more than just regional conference, regional uh, exhibition, uh, and uh, rather than the uh, uh, space to exchange a different opinions between uh, customers, partners and vendors. And uh, my special comments is about the uh, level of the guests is a, is a higher and higher. So we see uh, directors, we see owners of the business, which uh, have a clarity that digitalization is not about technology. Digitalization is more about implementation of technology for new business models. And I like this quality, I like these talks, because these talks will lead to very good outcome. All right. Uh, speaking about technology and digital transformation, companies rushed towards, uh, let's say, digital transformation for all the sectors, like we see, especially uh, in, uh, would say, let's say, remote working. How that affected uh, the cybersecurity space and what the new challenges arise from that? So we suddenly uh, all decided uh, to change dramatically the way we have to provide some resources for our employees uh, without damage, without erosion of productivity. It happened because of COVID. Uh, it touched not only the technological level we tried to change, but it touched also the communication between, between employer and employees. For example, uh, in our company, in our region, we even changed the papers people signed as a contract to agree that they have a right to work from remote location or even from remote region. So uh, definitely it required uh, to change and to think about technology landscape and we changed it dramatically providing some uh, specific remote workplace but if we change the landscape we definitely had to think about changing uh, cyber security threats and with that we introduced to the market our newest uh, solution, which we call Kaspersky Security Remote Workplace, which is based on Kaspersky operating system. The product is new. We cannot say that we cover everything by one solution, but definitely we enter it some interesting industries like healthcare, educational projects, industrial projects, and of course, we started from us. So the first pilot we established uh, with our Kaspersky security remote workplace product was the group of people who uh, changed their uh, way 
from office location to remote or to hybrid location. Okay, great. So you talk about Kaspersky OS. I want to ask a couple of questions about that. What does Kaspersky OS do exactly? And what sets apart from similar products? Like if you want to summarize it in less than one minute. Yes, uh, my primary job role and responsibility is a business based on Kaspersky operating system. So we have a newest, uh, invented and developed uh, digital platform. Uh, operating system means that by definition we are trying to build a product on the system layer, uh, including our assets. But I would like to say that with Kaspersky operating system we are trying to change the rules of the game from on top cybersecurity, which exists mostly around all JITEX uh, booths of companies from cybersecurity, to inbuilt, to innate cybersecurity, which require much higher attention on the level of design of the product. But if you are lucky and you have a designed system secured by design, then it will require much less on top cybersecurity components. So, speaking about also digital transformation, and we'll see all the companies going to Web3 now, <clears throat> like Web3 based and everything. How uh, Kaspersky uh, participate in that and how uh, their products will benefit from Web3 transformation? So we see that the role of raw data is becoming more and more important. Historically, uh, we saw big digital transformation project in banking or on e-government or on smart city. And now it's the right time to discuss the usage of data for industrial companies. But the point is, existing level of data they can use from old-fashioned SCADA system is limited. And if we will still use SCADA data, it will not bring such uh, efficiency, such outcomes for business people. So we need to create a special way how to collect this raw industrial data how to transfer it to the level of digital applications, digital platform, and how to convert uh, data from sensors into the money, into the currency. Uh, there are traditionally two main challenges. One is the interoperability, because industrial elements speak different language than IT systems. And the second one is a high cyber risk. If we are going, oh, sorry, if we are going to connect a physical asset like some uh, industrial element uh, with a digital platform, there is a risk that someone can go inside and arrange some incident for unplanned outage. For such applications, we created IoT Gateway, Internet of Things Gateway, which uh, also is equipped by our operating system and provides a higher level of cyber resistance. So we provide the uh, tool and approach how to deliver raw industrial data to the level of digital platform and how to monetize it, so convert technical parameters into business outcomes. Can you give us advice from Kaspersky as you are like, uh, have a very good experience and long experience in that, uh, that sector? Can you give me an, one advice? And like, especially we talked about digital transformation, Web3, cloud, and 5G. How uh, can you give us one advice, let's say, for to benefit from these sectors? Uh, we are 25 years old. We are successful private company. And I proud personally that we have more than 1,200 innovative patents. So we see the future uh, from the angle of our past experience plus our innovation approach. We see cyber immunity as a rule breaker for cybersecurity solutions of the future. And we will do a lot to create a new type of solutions for digital transformation projects and companies. My personal opinion which can be combined with our efforts that we could not reach digital transformation outcomes 
without transformation of cybersecurity. So if we will try to, uh, to arrange initiatives for transformation of business people without changing of cybersecurity, old-fashioned model, it will not be so efficient. So our cyber immune story with the Kaspersky operating system and with a set of first products, which is IoT gateways and sync client for remote work, will help efficiency of our approach. Thank you so much for your time, Andre. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. It is a pleasure to answer your questions.